Groupie strep is a type of bacteria that lives on all of our skin and for about a third of us lives in our GU system. It doesn't harm us, it doesn't harm our partners, it's not an STD, but it can harm babies during childbirth. If you haven't had groupie strep growing in your urine throughout your pregnancy or had a baby who was previously infected with groupie strep, we're going to recommend this rectovaginal swab in the 36th week of your pregnancy. This swab goes into both of those spaces and then we send it to the lab and they're going to tell us if you are colonized with groupie strep. If you have that history or your cultures come back positive, we're going to recommend antibiotics while you're in labor. Those antibiotics are typically penicillin. If you have a penicillin allergy, it is important to talk to your OB to get penicillin testing in pregnancy to make sure that you're actually allergic as the majority of patients who say they have a penicillin allergy, especially if it was from childhood, actually are not allergic. Then when you come to the hospital, either in labor or for your induction, we're gonna talk about when we wanna start antibiotics. In my hospital, we start them when you get there. We typically want at least four hours of antibiotics in your system before the baby is born. If you don't get those four hours of antibiotics, sometimes the pediatricians will want you to stay in the hospital for 48 hours so they can monitor for that early onset disease. I've seen a lot of discussions about people being nervous about getting the groupie strep swab itself. This is just a Q-tip. I personally have never had a patient say that it's hurt. It can be a little uncomfortable, and if you're really concerned about the exam, talk to your OB. They might even let you swab yourself, but I wouldn't want you to not get the swab because you're nervous about the pain associated.